Hey, welcome to the basement. My name's Elliot. You're probably here because you ran out of other content creators to watch. Good on you for exploring the YouTube verse. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on here. Maybe you learn a thing or two, or maybe you just see something cool. Either way, probably a good choice clicking on the clickbait thumbnail. This is probably Saturday afternoon for you. Seems to be a lot of content creators take the weekend off. I appreciate you for taking those 48 hours to not spend with family, not spend with friends, but to actually use the internet as it was created, when net neutrality actually existed and life was grand. Take that Saturday afternoon, maybe drink a few adult beverages, sit down and watch some guy in his basement print out a huge skull that he probably could have bought off of eBay for 60 bucks, but instead bought a $400 printer. I don't have an outro or an intro for this, so we'll do a cheesy cut. So I thought I'd go over a little bit why I would do a project like this. Why I would do a one-to-one -one print on a saber-tooth skull. Um, I'm a biologist. Technically. Classically trained biologist. What that means is I spent a lot of money and a lot of years on a skill that really doesn't give me any applicable real-world job opportunity. But before I got into biology, I always enjoyed paleontology, which is the study of organisms that no longer exist, so they're extinct. And specifically those organisms that are previous to the Holocene epoch, which is 12,000 years-ish ago. I don't think there's another, I mean, apart from mammoths, um, set of fossil and bone evidence as strong as a saber-toothed cat. And I've always wanted a one-to-one -one model. And instead of actually acquiring fossils and stuff like that, it seems like a whole lot of work. So, 113 hours on a printer seemed a whole lot easier than uh, going on an expedition and finding it. Although, that would probably make a better video. But I guess we should go over a little bit why I think this animal is so special. So there were three subspecies of Smilodon, which is the genus of the saber-toothed cat. There was a Gracilis, Smilodon gracilis, which was the smallest of the saber-toothed cats. There was a Smilodon fatalis, 
and then there was a Smilodon populator. Um, those three, respectively, is how big they are. And I'll put a graphic up here somewhere, probably over here. That explains kind of the size distribution. This animal lived in the Western Hemisphere, so it was present in North America, down to South America. And this scan here, this fossil is of the Smilodon fatalis, which was the mid-range. I wanted a larger skull, so I sized it up to what the largest saber-toothed cat skull was, which was about 31 uh, centimeters, so 310 millimeters from the top the incisor is like from the very tip of the skull all the way to the back so but this i think extended slightly further back um, MakerBot just cut it off at the end so this model is produced i don't know if it was produced by MakerBot, but it's available from MakerBot. it's an actual scan of a skull and it is the mid size ranged saber tooth cat so it is scaled up a little bit so it's not historically accurate but man is it cool you know that's what i care about so that's a little bit of history on that that's the reason why i did it and now i think we're gonna finish it in a way maybe you haven't seen done Alright, well there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it was a little bit on the longer side. I apologize for that. I'm um, trying some new camera stuff. Try and make this a little bit more entertaining because when you boil it down, all we're really doing here is just melting plastic. I don't think these sort of videos are going to come out regularly. I think they're going to come out when I have a really cool project I want to showcase. So yeah, let me know what, what you thought about it. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, just leave them down in the comment section, and I will try my best to either help resolve them or answer them outright. I appreciate everybody that watches these videos, and I appreciate you taking the time. I joked about it in the beginning, but I do appreciate you taking the time. 
and watching these. So I hope you get something out of it. I get a lot out of it. I have a lot of fun. So yeah, get out there and make something. Have fun. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.